once I give an assignment and I've had it where I make a copy for every student, I will be able to see the student's live work. So I'm going to open up student one because that's the one I'm logged into uh, on another computer Click there. And I can see exactly what the student is working on with the assignment. So right now I'm, I'm logged in on another computer as student one. I'm going to erase this first piece right here. And so you can see it's a live version of what's going on with your student's work. You can also make comments. So if you highlight this information and you do a right click, you can leave a comment for the student. So whatever the comment is to help them, you can leave that comment there. And you'll notice that it's highlighted in yellow or whatever color it might be so that the student knows what is going on right there. Um, so let's say I add another comment, and if you'll notice too, another option is right here is the plus sign, and I can just add my comment. Oh, let's say that's a smelly spelling error. Um, so now I have two things highlighted. If I click on the highlighted item, it will populate the comment that has been named, that has been uh, a, the one that has been connected to that particular icon or that those wording, excuse me. Um, so if I click on this, it brings up the next choice. So those are some great options for teachers to give feedback to, te to students. I can also put a grade in here. It will not be viewable to the student until I return it to them, only viewable by me. And I can add a private comment, which means that it, only the student can see that comment. But I like the highlighting and commenting that way better. And so that's how it looks for you when um, a student is working on an assignment. So what happens when the student turns the assignment in? I'm going to turn this assignment in from the student's point of view right now. And there's a turn in button and I'll have an, a video for them, but there's a turn in button and they can submit their assignment. Most kids know how to do that already. So even if you're not used to using this tool, your students generally are used to it, especially with the third through 12th grade students. Okay, so this student, as you see, has um, turned in their assignment. Oops, no, they did not. Yeah, they did. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to um, see here where it says one turned in to assign. That means those are the students that have turned the assignment in. So if I open up that turned in assignment, I can view it just like I could before. I can also come over here to the left and give grades manually over here. If, um, there we go, it's a little bit slow. So maybe I wanna give that student a 95. I can also do, uh, there we go, so never mind. Um, so I can do that and give them their grade as they go. Again, students still cannot see their grade. They do not see their grade until you click return. This applies to any kind of assignment that you give them. Um, I'll show you how with the Google quizzes, how that works, the quiz assignments. That works a little bit differently, but still your students will not see the assignments until you return it to them. So when I click return, student 01 will be able to see their assignment grade on their paper. 